The following theorem is an important characterization of a linear transformation. T is a linear transformation from Rm to Rn if and only if we have linearity in x and y, so t of x plus y is t of x plus ty, and to t of kx is k times tx. Well, we prove the implication of t is a linear transformation. So write down that t, given a t is a linear transformation, it is a matrix vector product, so t of x plus y is no more than a times x plus y. And the well-known property of a matrix vector product is that we may split up its distributive in the sense that a times x plus y is a times x plus a times y. So now we recognize two parts this is t of x and this is t of y. So this shows the first part. We'll now take an arbitrary vector x and a scalar k, then t of k times x equals a times k of x. And the scalar can, we can take out the scalar and then we can get k times a times x is k times the image of the vector x. So this shows 2. So now we go back. Suppose that we have uh, a mapping t from Rm to Rn which satisfies 1 and 2. Well then for all x in Rm T of x equals the T of, well, we can write x as a linear combination of standard unit vectors as follows, x equals x1 times e1 plus x2 times e2, etc., etc., plus xm times em, which equals by 1, we may split off the different parts, or well, we need to repeat the same reasoning, but actually if we split off m minus 1 of these terms, we get t of x1 plus e1 plus t of x2 plus e2 plus t of x3 e3 plus etc. etc. plus the final term t of xm em. So we need repeated application of 1 here. But then look more closely, the x1, x2, etc., these are scalars, so we can take them out by 2. Yeah, property 2 says that we can take out any scalar k. So now here we write, instead of t of x1, e1, x1, t, e1, etc., and take a sum. And now recognize that actually, this is a matrix vector product. Well, if we take as the matrix, the matrix, if we build up the matrix from the images of the standard unit vectors, TE1, TE2, TEM, then what it says here, this is a linear combination of the columns of this matrix. So this is the matrix vector products, and we have actually expressed T as a matrix vector product. So T is a linear transformation. Yeah, because this is what we sought for. We try to express T as a matrix vector product.